Only the special few see statues raised to them in their lifetime. But Sir Bobby Robson was one such man. Born in 1933 in County Durham, Robson was brought up in the coal mining village of Langley Park, where his father was a miner. His glittering career in football may never have happened. At 15, he joined his father down the mines, but Robson had other plans. Football was his calling, and he inspired universal affection. It was as a player in the 1950s that he first made his name. Good header, put that dangerous man, Bobby Robson, in possession. He played for West Brom and Fulham and won 20 England caps. His playing career over, Robson's life in management got off to a bad start. Fulham sacked him after 10 months in charge. And so he went to Ipswich, where he would spend the next 13 years. The 1978 FA Cup win over Arsenal, the springboard, for sustained success. Eric Gates didn't play for Ipswich that day, but Robson had taken him to the club as a 15-year-old. He said to my parents, he said, look, he's not going in, he's not going in a hostel, he's not going in digs, he's, he, you know, he's not going in a, uh, a hotel or anything like that. He's, he's going to live with me and my wife Elsie and, and three teenage kids till he settles in. And look, at the time, you think, well, that's great of him to do it, but over, the, over my football period, I don't know another manager that's done that. Under his enthusiastic guidance, Ipswich prospered and in 1981 lifted the UEFA Cup as well. Twice they narrowly missed out on the title, but nothing could kill his passion for the game. Come on, walk with me and bring him back again, then buzz off. I think you'll lose him. By now, the FA were interested and in 1982 he took the England job. He brought his characteristic energy to the role and despite savage criticism in the press at times, he proved remarkably resilient. England reached the quarter-finals of the 1986 Mexico World Cup, infamously being eliminated by Maradona's Hand of God. Robson preferred to call it a hand of a rascal. Then came Italia 90, where Robson had players like Platt, Lineker, Beardsley and Pierce in their pomp, as well as a young, raw 23-year-old called Paul Gascoigne. He made Gaza feel 10 feet tall. You know, he made Gaza realise he was probably the best player or possibly the best player in the world at that time you know Maradona was four years older than obviously 86 and Gaza had the potential to be the best player in the world and, he, and that's all he ever talked to him about you know what a player you are son. It ended in tears but it was a fantastic journey. It remains England's best showing in the competition since 1966 and he left a coach on the continent with his reputation enhanced. He won league titles in Holland with PSV and enjoyed further success in Portugal with Porto and then at the helm of one of the world's great clubs in one year alone, led Barcelona to three trophies. While at the new Camp, he also helped teach a young Jose Mourinho all about management. In 1999, Robson fulfilled a lifelong ambition by returning to his native northeast to manage the team he'd supported as a boy, dismissing suggestions that he was too old for the job. You're either 66 years old or you're 66 years young, aren't you? Under his guidance, Newcastle finished fourth in the Premiership in 2002. It's good fun to do. Yeah. Some of the times he didn't, he didn't mean to be funny. He, he forgot people's names, as he's, he's well known to do. He was a funny, funny man, and uh, he was also very, very good at his job. That led to Champions League football, but he couldn't deliver a trophy for the fans. Still, there was a knighthood recognition of his services to the game. But there's little room for sentiment in football. When Newcastle failed to qualify for the Champions League, the club began to struggle and Robson was fired. He continued to adore the game, answering the Republic of Ireland's call for help and becoming honorary president of Ipswich, a club whose supporters and players adored Robson, despite the odd mistake. He, he always forget names. He would have a team talk and he forgot the team we're playing and stuff like that. And he used to make us giggle and uh, he called me Eric Sykes for 10 years. 30 years after winning the FA Cup with Ipswich, he was back at Wembley as guest of honour meeting the teams and presenting the trophy. His final public appearance, though, was back in his beloved North East at St James's Park as a guest of honour for a rerun of the famous 1990 World Cup semi-final between England and Germany. A true football man, the game will long mourn his passing.